kuniambia hebu una shop kama mtu wa biashara lazima ukue mchanja you know this life you need some life skills so you carrying your 20k you going to shop in Vikompa na unabeba gunia ni kama mtu ako na 50 bob kwa mfuko yes unacheza hivyo that's how the game is played is the biggest thrift market here in Kenya where you can find anything from clothes to beddings to shoes to bags cereals fresh fish anything you can think of a uh, house uh, decor anything that you, that you can think of you can find it at Gikompa market but there are some things you should know must know points before you go to Gikompa but before we get there let me explain more to the people who don't know where Gikompa market is found. I've mentioned that it is the biggest thrift market here in Kenya and perhaps the entire East African region. I suppose it should be among the top thrift markets in Africa too because it holds thousands of buyers and sellers. There is continuous exchange of money and products like on daily basis. If you go there on Monday, you go there on Wednesday, you go there on Saturday, Sunday, the market is always busy. So when you go there, you have to ensure that, number one, you dress down. You, you can't go to Gikomba in those flashy outfits of yours. You can't go to Gikomba in heels. Like seriously, who, who goes to Gikomba wearing heels? Na ile matope inakuanga huko hata kama ujipendi walai. If you have never been to Gikompa, that time that you purpose to go there, please don't go there in hills. On hills, don't go there with your best jacket, with your best pair of jeans, just dress down. Gikompa ni soko ya mwananchi wa kawaida. So what you do, dress down and uh, to look the part. I've given you the secret. If you're going to shop a lot of things, chukua gunia, a sack will cost you 50 shillings. You can throw everything inside because if you have several bags, people can tell that you're confused and the place is always crowded with people. So as you're pushing through people, it's so easy for a person to single you out and snatch one of your bags. So it's safer to put everything that you've shopped in one bag. If we meet when I'm in Gikompa, you will not even know if I am the one because mm -mm, itakuwa nakaa kama mtu wa biashara ameenda Gikompa kuchukua vitu za biashara. So that's the trick. You have to be alert, dress down. You have to be alert because that place is always full of people. Number three. Number three. Have your bargaining game at 100. I mean, you can't go there and just be picking and paying, picking. And, uh, how much is this? 200 shika. How much is this? Uh, 300 shika. Use your bargaining skills because something that is being sold at 300 in Gikompa, you can take it home with 100 shillings. Yes, it's a serious start. So you have to have your A game when it comes to bargaining. Be confident because even the sellers can tell that ah this is a newcomer this person is not is not so well versed with the market so he or she will be like uh-huh you ask how much is this how much is this bag uh-huh 800 you're like okay you just chuck your 1k give it to her or him they give you back your change that same bag Another person who is familiar with the market will take it home with 300 or 400 shillings. So whenever you're going to shop in Gikompa, always carry with you your bargaining game. It should be at 100. Otherwise, you're going to buy stuff at very expensive prices. And Gikompa, I mean, you can get very nice things at 
affordable prices. You only need to know where to get it and uh, have your bargaining game on point. Oh, I almost forgot this one. The best time to go to Gikomba. It's during the early morning hours because that's when so many people are going there to pick stuff so that they can go and resell elsewhere in other parts of the country in the CBD, in other towns across the country. So the best time, you don't need to wake up very early unless the, unless you're traveling from outside the city like myself because personally, I usually travel from Machakos, which is like an hour drive when there's no traffic to the city. So what you need to do, you just have to plan your time and ensure that you're there at least by eight. Between 8 and 11, that's when everyone is busy picking the best from here, from there. Like everyone is busy looking for the best products available in the market. So if you want to join the traders when they are selecting, like they call it, uh, I've forgotten the name, I've forgotten the name, camera. Yes, they use the term camera. Camera is like the first grade, like the best whenever they cut the bells. I like combining Kamkuchi shopping with Gikomba shopping because they are just, uh, they are closely located. So when I go shop at Kamkuchi, if I don't have a lot of stuff, even if I have a lot of stuff, I have, I have several friends at the bus station where I can leave my luggage, then I cross over to the next uh, place. If I've been shopping at Gikomba, I leave my luggage with that person that I cross to, um, Kunji, do my shopping there, then come back, assemble all my stuff, then uh, I'm ready to go home. If you're not familiar with the market, always ensure that you go there accompanied by a person who is uh, who knows the place, who can take you around, who can help you shop whatever you want from the market easily. Look at this. Look at this blazer, guys. Beautiful, right? Isn't it nice? Guess how much this costed? This one costed me only 100 Kenya shillings. Oh my goodness. Uh -uh. I love the print. I love the color. I love everything about it. I can't wait to rock this blazer. It looks amazing. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, and the fitting is just perfect. I don't need to make any adjustments. So yeah, can't wait to rock this one. Really looks nice. Mm. Can you believe it? 100 Kenya shillings. It's like one dollar. Everything about it just perfect. Let's check out blazer number two like whenever i go to Gikompa, i have to check out blazers because the blazers there are lit like you'll be spoiled for choice and not only blazer like everything and surprisingly i got some skirts very nice ones just stick around i will show you the skirt so let's check out the blazers first I forgot to mention that uh, one tip, I mentioned it in a, I think I did a haul, a short haul of blazers a while ago. Whenever you purchase stuff at Gikomba, be smart. Just take it for ironing each, uh, they will iron for you each at 10 shillings. It will, it will save you time, it will save you the energy, it will save you electricity when you go home. So yeah. Yes, can you see this one? It's only that I can't wear it before I wash it. Otherwise, it's looking like ready to be worn. I can't wait to rock this one. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. I love it. Ooh. At 100 Kenya shillings, only one dollar. How amazing. This is a bit. These are some of the good deals you'll get at the Kompa market. On to this number two blazer. Look at this. Look at this, guys. This one costed me 
100 shillings too. You can never go wrong with black. Oh, it is nice. I just need to wash it then voila, I rock it. Mm -hmm. The third one. Oh, look at this. How nice, how nice, how nice, how nice. Ooh, ooh. I love this checked vibe. I love this checked vibe. The fitting is perfect. All the buttons are there, which means it hasn't been overworn. You can see all the buttons are there. Same case to this other hand. Wow, Max and Spencer. Which size is this? Wow, amazing! This one costed me 100 shillings too. I forgot there's another one too. It's black in color, material on point. Just perfect, perfect, perfect. I fitted it there. This one was not iron because I just I just saw, saw it when I was about to leave the market and I was like, I'm not leaving this one. So yeah. I got it at 100 Kenya shillings too. Mm. I just remembered uh, in one of my videos someone asked uh, where the blazer section is located in Kikomba market. You have, I don't know the exact names of the different sections inside the market, but the best explanation I can give you is uh, you have to go deeper in the market just uh, the area pass where they sell fresh fish, the fish market, there is a way through inside there. You just continue straight and just continue until you, you arrive at the bags section. After the bags section is where you find a uh, skirt section, then uh, blazers, jackets, uh, pants, uh, sportswear. So... I believe I have been of help. That's the best explanation I can give for now. So it is you have to pass uh, via the fish market. There's a way through inside. You continue straight. You'll uh, get to the bag section, then the skirt section. Then now, after that, you'll find jackets, blazers, mm -hmm, trench coats, like everything. Just you have to go deeper in the market. Otherwise, if you shop from just uh, the open area and you don't explore inside, you will not find nice things. So the nice things are hidden inside the market. You have to continue inside the market until you find some things like these ones I have shown you guys. Actually, Kenya shillings. I repeat again. I can't get over this one guys oh my goodness <laughs> you're not even ready for this scarf these scarves are lit so let's check them out now this one this one was fast camera so I got it at 300 bob fast camera i love the red color i love the embroidery i love everything about this card Ooh. that's it this one i got it at uh, 300 kenya shillings but it's worth it's worth the amount because the print the color i love it then um hmm. Look at this. Weekend vibe. Weekend vibe. Weekend vibes. This one is screaming. Weekend vibes. Comfort. Class. Everything. The fact that it's white in color. I love it. I love it. I love it. This one costed me 100 pop. Ah, oh, and these pockets, side pockets around here. You just rock this one with a nice top and a you're ready for the weekend 
how it looks like this one costed 100 shillings too and this one oh you see this one this one costed 100 shillings too you like it i love the flowers 100 bob Look at this card here. Look at this one. Mm? When we want to happen for the weekend, eh? Look at this. Look at this. Huh? And the fact that it has a belt. Huh? The belt even brings in more vibe. Vibes on vibes, right? So yeah. You want to shakara go and uh, you know yes you get it yeah another one and the last one this one was hundred bob too color white comfort no to me me yeah, I don't go with fashion by the way guys let me tell you something about me Personally, I don't go with fashion trends or what. I go for comfort. What fits me well, what makes me feel like, yes, at least I feel that I've dressed nicely. I don't go with trends like, you know, you do this, you don't know. I just stick to what makes me feel, what makes me feel like that I'm nicely dressed. So yeah, that was it guys. That was the short Nikomba haul. I got all skirts at uh, 100 shillings except for this one, this red one which costed 300 Kenya shillings. So I paid a total of 800 Kenya shillings for the skirts. And for the blazers, one, two, three, four, 400 Kenya shillings. Then uh, for the pounds 200 kenya shillings each so with less than i think with a budget of 2000 you can get very nice stuff at ikomba market you're not kenyan enough what's in kenya kama uji ikomba ujai india nje uko ndani ndani ukaona what normally happens there so sikuwe tu ule mtu mwenye eti yako anataka kukaa kwa comfort zone you just sit there Ujangojanga yule mama anaishi pale kwa kona eti ndo anakuletea camera at anakuzia kichwa amechukua 200 anakuja anakuzia 1000 hata wewe kwa mjanja of course i'm not telling you to spoil business for her but once in a while once in a while go out there and experience the thrill of shopping in Kikomba it makes you feel the kenyan spirit there's something in shopping at that market the chaos because it is a chaotic market i can tell you that for free and you can't just move around confused you can't move around like you don't know what you're doing ah they will single you out and you will leave that place crying with nothing yes i said it. i've told you no no agunia Ebu unajua shop kama mtu wa biashara lazima ukue mchanja. Yo know, this life you need some life skills. So you carrying your 20k you're going to shop in Bikomba. Na unabeba gunia ni kama mtu ako na 50 bob kwa mfuko. Yes, unacheza hivyo. That's how the game is played. You want to shop like a pro. Like you are a business person in Bikomba because the sellers can always tell the person who has come to shop 
like personal stuff and the one who's shopping for business to go and to sell the products so what they normally do after they realize that you're shopping for personal use they hike the price so one trick get yourself a sack it shows that you are a serious shopper shows that you are a serious person who has come for some serious business get yourself a sack it will cost you only 50 kenya shillings then put everything inside everything that you have bought and you'll be moving around stress-free 